Hello everyone, imagine turning a full strategic report, an entire course or a complete website into professional interactive content in just minutes. No design tools, no formatting, no stress. That's exactly what I did using Gamma, the all-in-one AI content creation tool that helps you bring your ideas to life. The great thing about Gamma app is that it not only creates beautiful AI generated presentations, but also websites, social media content, documents, and more. In this video, I'll walk you through three real use cases, a strategic report turned into an entire presentation deck, a full website generated from one prompt, and a complete training course structured and styled in just minutes. So let's get started. Okay, so in order for us to get started, we need to click on start for free, and then it will ask you to do the usual signups. And once you've signed up, this is the interface that you're going to see. So up here, you'll have the option to create your new presentation. So for my first use case, I'm going to be turning a strategic report into a professional presentation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on create new, and you'll see here that you have an option to paste in the text that you want. Or you can ask Gamma to generate the entire presentation for you from a single prompt in just seconds, or you can import your entire file. So in my case, because I already have a strategic report, that's a 2000 word document, detailed analysis, problem framing, and regional rollout plans. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select the import from file or URL. So I'm going to click on that and you'll see that I have an option to upload a file, import from my drive or import from URL. So I'm going to select the upload a file and my word document, which is the strategy report. And you can see now that it's uploading my document. So once my file is uploaded, I then select what I want to create with this document. So I either have an option for a presentation, it can be a web page, a document or social. So in this case, because we want it to be a presentation deck, we're going to stay with presentation and I'm going to click on continue. And once I've done that, you'll see that I've landed on the prompt editor interface. Now here, just so that we understand the way it's laid out here, you've got the text content. You can play around with this. You can select whether you want it to generate extra text, whether you want to condense this or you want to preserve. So I'm going to keep it on condensed because this is going to be a presentation because I have quite a lot of text here and then max text per card. I'm I'm going to go for medium because I want it to not have a lot of text, but at the same time, I don't want it to lose a lot of information because there are some key points in there that I do want to maintain. And then what I'm going to come here is where it says images. I'm going to select AI images and then under image style, I'm going to give it some extra directions. So I'm going to say modern, clean medical illustration style showing clinicians and digital tools in soft blue and gray tones because this is about a medical startup. So I want it to carry on with that theme. And what you'll see, I love this as well, is that you have the option to choose from the AI image model generator that you want. And you've got a large number of basic models here that you can choose from, from Flux, Imogen, Luma. And then you've got some advanced models here. So you've got Ideogram, Imogen, and so on. I'm going to keep it on GPT image because I really like the way that it's been generating these kind of images. Now, if we come here to our main content, you can see that you either have the option to keep it on free form. What I'm basically doing here is I'm letting the AI divide my content into cards, or I can do the card by card split. I can then ask the AI to split my cards for me. So I'm going to select yes, split for me as well. This just gives you an additional bit of customization so that you can actually see how it's splitting it and make adjustments if you feel that you need to. So now you can see it split up my whole strategy report into different cards. And then what you can do here is you can come and edit. If you feel that this part doesn't make sense here, you can move it into a different part. But you can see that it's already very logically structured it with the executive summary, and the problem statement in a different card a market overview in the third card, the pestle analysis in the next one, and so on. So I'm just going to keep it as it is for now. And then you can add additional instructions here. So I'm just going to add use a clean professional style, suitable for a healthcare and tech audience. And now that we've completed all the different areas in our prompt editor, I'm just going to click on continue. And now this is the fun part where you get to choose the theme that you want. I'm going to go to professional because it's going to be a professional report. And then I'm just going to use a dark kind of background. So I'm going to use the cigar theme. And then once I'm ready with that, I'm going to ask it to generate. Okay. And now you can see in just literally seconds, we've now got an entire 17 deck presentation and look at how it's transformed our strategy document into this unbelievable presentation. It's clear, concise, it's visually engaging. The slides are there packed with dynamic visuals and they're beautifully animated diagrams that really do bring the core ideas to life. And you can see that instead of dense paragraphs, we now have clean interactive layouts that will guide the viewer through the different parts of our presentation. And look at how 
amazingly puts together these diagrams for us throughout the presentation. You can see there's a go-to market strategy here that's structured the revenue model, structured in this horizontal way. We've got the SWOT analysis in a table. We've even got the timeline here clearly laid out. And I really love Gamma's new AI image editing feature. So if I come here to Ask AI, what I can do is I can just animate one of my images. So it will open this box once I clicked it. And you can see now it says I'll animate this business meeting scene for you. And you can already see that I added this extra dimension to my presentation to make it more dynamic and interactive where the image is actually animated. And what I like is that you can come to any of the images as well. And if I right click, I can then edit the image. And then once you click on that, you'll find that you can actually change the prompt. It can generate a tidy new image for you. So I'm just going to write here, uh, a doctor and data scientist reviewing AI diagnostic insights on a large screen in a modern hospital with clinical blue lighting and patient data visuals. And then I'm going to keep the model as it is. I like the kind of images that the GPT image generator has generated. And then I'm going to generate. And you can see that it's now generated this new image exactly as I told it in my prompt. You can do so many things with these images. You can just play around with them. And then you can then ask AI again to make it more realistic, to add more vibrant colors. Okay. And you can also add any new slides that you want and you can customize any of the writing on the slides. You can change the text color, the font, the size. You can again come and edit with AI and rephrase your text to make it more engaging. And then once you click on that, it just gives you different alternatives for copy that you can add. So maybe here emphasize the efficiency and the obstacles. So I'm going to select that one and you can see that it's automatically changed that inside my slide. And so that was our first use case. Once we're done, we now have the option to share our presentation. We can export it as a PDF or download it as a PowerPoint or export it as Google Slides. And that gives you extra flexibility to work with your presentations. Okay, so let's move on to our second use case. Okay, so for our next use case, we're going to generate a full website from a single prompt. So again, we're going to go to our main homepage and we're going to click on create new. And this time, instead of pasting in our text or importing our file, we're going to select generate. And this will enable us to create from a single prompt. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to add a prompt here that says create a clean modern website focused on fitness and productivity. The homepage should feature a bold hero section with a motivating headline, a call to action button, start your journey, and visuals showing people working out and using productivity tools. Okay, for daily workout plans, focus and habit building tips, smart tracking tools, testimonials, and this time I'm going to select web page. And now I'm going to select edit prompt. And again, it will open up the prompt editor. And this time in terms of amount of text per card, I'm just going to keep it brief. I have an option to edit my prompt as well. So I'm going to keep all this the same and then I'm going to continue and this time for my theme I'm going to select this alien theme and then once I've selected my theme I'm going to click on generate okay and then again very quickly you can see how instantly it's generated this stunning looking website for us it's got the fitness and productivity tracker how amazing this layout is with the different icons it's got diagrams for us habit building framework it's now got the real results from real people and it's got different testimonials that it's added for us it's added the chart for a proven impact, the option to join our community with our subscribe now. So again, a stunning looking website in literally just seconds. And I can come up here and I'm going to add a button as well. I'm just going to come here and I'm going to write free workout plans. And look how stunning that button looks. Once we activate that, you can click on that. And then I can also come to the images like we did in the previous use case. And then I can adapt these images. I can click on edit the image. And I can choose a different model if I wanted to. So let's just go for flux for this one. You can see it's instantly changed the image that goes with the look and feel and the theme of the website while still maintaining that edgy kind of look. And I can come to any parts of the website and I can add an image. I'm just going to choose another AI image here and I'm going to add a prompt that says printers on the race line who are just about to start a race. Again, I'm going to be using GPT image. So I'm going to generate and you can see how it's just kept that same look and feel with the alien theme that we're using the sprinters on the race line and it goes with our slide. They're building focus and they're about to start their race. So you can see how you can just elevate and play around with the content that you have. And once you are ready, you can then publish your website. I'm going to select publish. And then now that our website's been published, you can then see the entire flow of the website. And look at how amazing that already looks. So this was our second use case. So let's move on to our third use case. Okay, for our third use case, I'm going to show you how you can use Gamma to create an entire training module all in minutes. And this one's a complete game changer for creators and coaches. So I'm going to click again on create new. And this time I'm going to use the paste in text. And here I'm going to come to my entire AI agent development course. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to paste in my entire course modules in here. And you can see all the lessons have now been pasted. And this time I'm going to select document. 
And then I'm going to click on preserve this exact text because I want to keep all the content of my module. And then I'm going to continue to the prompt editor. Okay. And again, I'm just going to make sure that I've clicked on preserve text. Now it's split up my content card by card. And so you can see each module has been split up into a different card. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to continue. And then you need to pick your theme. So I actually like the theme that it's picked. It's a light, interesting color. So I'm going to go for that and then I'm going to generate. Okay. And look at how amazing this is. We now have our entire course automatically structured and styled. Got the course modules turned into clean professional training materials. And look at how each section has been nicely laid out. We've got our tables, got our headings and subtitles. And look how it's boxed different sections that are really important. And it's also added the diagrams here. It's added the icons. So I think it's done such an amazing job with this. And then if you want, you can then add your new cards. You can change any of the images or the text in your notes. And then once you're done, you can then share this. And this time I'm going to export it as a PDF so I can have my entire training material in one document. Okay. And once that is downloaded, you can see how you can have these amazing handout notes instantly. This just literally took us seconds to complete. And so whether you're designing slides, documents, websites, you'll see that Gamma will be able to bring your ideas to life in just minutes. So go ahead and give Gamma.app a go. So I hope you found this video useful and see you in the next video.